What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I wanted to go through Sound Assistant. Now Sound Assistant is an app within GoodLock. You can get GoodLock through the Galaxy Store. Just go into uh, Galaxy Store, search GoodLock. There it is, tap on that, install it. I already have it installed, open it up. And you have all these modules in here. The one that specifically I'm gonna talk about today is Sound Assistant, so tap on that and install it if you haven't already. So let's go through all these things that you can do in here. There's a bunch of stuff. You can customize the volume control panel. So I'm gonna click into that, turn it on, and you can make it look like this. Hit custom at the bottom there. And you can do some things here. You can move it. You can move it to the left or the right. You can see right there. I can show volume levels or not. You can see the number right there. It goes away. So if you don't want to see the number, I like to see it, so I'm going to keep it. You can do a floating button. So no matter where you are, I can hit my home button and I can press this button. My volume always comes up. You can move that button around if you want. I'll admit I'm not a huge fan of that floating button. So I will turn off the floating button. You can also go to expanded panel and an expanded panel you can turn on this Bluetooth metronome thing, which we'll go through in a little bit. Show toolbar functions, turn that on and off. You can see, I'll keep it on. And you can have app volume go away as well. So if we go into here, the way you bring that up is we'll hit the home button. We're just gonna press this and hit the three dots. That brings up your expanded panel where you can control some of these volumes. If you want, you also have the buttons down here that do stuff. You have your metronome if you have a Bluetooth connected, again, which we will go through in a moment. Press that, brings up your settings within there. If you press this, this is gonna bring up your equalizer if you wanna control that kind of stuff. You have, this is gonna, uh, captions appear when speech is detected. I don't like that, but you could have it. So you, when you talk or whatever, it's gonna show captions on your screen, some words. And then the bottom one is, the connect a blue Bluetooth device if you had something connected by Bluetooth. Next one is make your volume panel colors. So you saw like I have those volume colors. So I'll choose this one for instance. It's gonna go into theme park. If this isn't installed, it'll automatically install it. You can see it already set my themes in here. So I'm gonna choose like I showed you a different one. Maybe I want this one. It's about to install the theme for me. And when I hit my home button, you'll see that when I hit my volume buttons here, the colors have changed to what I have just chosen there and you can again you can choose other ones you want as well it's a quick and easy way to control your volume colors individual app volumes this is kind of a cool thing you can control the volume of each app in here add apps to change so you have to hit the plus sign it's going to think it's going to go through all your multimedia apps below to change the app volume individually so if you're in that specific app it'll only change change the volume for that specific app so for instance let's just say i'm in youtube and hit add. And when I control the volume for, I can, can come in here and just control the volume for, for YouTube. So if you want, you can control the volume from in here specifically for that app. So you can add as many apps as you want here, but you can only control it within here. But it's kind of cool though, right? If you could, you know, you can keep YouTube a little low and then Spotify loud when you go into it. I think that's kind of neat. This is an old one, but I use it all the time. Control media volume. So anytime I'm pressing this volume button, unless I'm in a call, it will control my media volume, which is basically your the sound that comes out of your speakers when you play a video or music or something like that. So I keep that on. I think that's a great one. Media manner mode, when your phone is set to vibrate or mute, media volume is also muted. So that could be kind of helpful. If you have that on, I'll just turn it off for now, but so you can get it. So again, if the phone in, is, is set to vibrate or mute, like calls and things like that, your media volume will also be off. So. It could be helpful. I don't find that helpful, so I'm gonna keep that one off. When you're changing your volume, you can have it, I know the pixel, like you do it and it like takes forever, so it's gonna be like, you can see it's going a lot slower, but if I, by default it's set to this, you can see it goes a lot faster. So go increments of 10, or you can make it get less increments when you're changing your volume up and down. You can control your music with your volume keys. If you press and hold the volume keys to go to the next or previous track when the screen is locked or turned off. So when you're listening to music, if you have this on. So I have a song playing right now. You can see it's right there. I'm gonna press and hold volume up. And that goes back, I guess. We'll press down. 
and that goes to the next track. So all you gotta do is, and that will use that with the volume button. It's kind of cool if your phone is locked. Favorite media app, this can be very helpful. So basically when you select an app and play controlled music, when you press media keys on your connected headphones, Bluetooth device, etc. If the currently if the currently open app supports multimedia keys, it will play through your app instead. So if we turn this on, select an app below to play and control music when you press media keys on your connected headphones. So I do a lot of Spotify. So Spotify is not playing. Okay, so I have my earbud in, at least one of them. I'm gonna tap it. And it went automatically into Spotify and started playing it. And that's because of my favorite media app controls being turned on. Bluetooth metronome, this is gonna be great if you wanna sync your Bluetooth sound for video. So allow sound assistant to find connect. So hit allow. And I'm gonna, you won't be able to hear this, but I'm gonna put my earbuds in. So if this was not matching up with what I'm hearing through the earbuds, it's saying those numbers to them, I could make it faster or slower or keep it in the middle, depending on the, you kind of have to do it yourself, but still kind of cool. If you're having issues with having your Bluetooth earbuds sync up or headphones to your phone when you're watching videos, this is a great option to fix that. We've got advanced settings next. Advanced settings, you can hear alerts through headphones, you can turn that on or off. You can also uh, reverse your stereo buds, swap them left and right so you can hear like the right earbud on the left and the left on the right. If you like customizing your vibration patterns, you can come in here and do that for your ringtones. And you can make these higher or lower, just customize them the way you want and put them all over the map. You can see it does that and you can hit save and then that'll be your customized vibration pattern uh, when you get a call or a notification. Now you have concert hall. This is some sound effects not supported when Dolby Atmos is turned on. If you want it to sound like a concert hall that you're in, I wouldn't recommend turning that on, but if you do turn it on, you do have to turn off Dolby Atmos. You can find it when you search in here to search Dolby Atmos, come in here, turn it off. And then you can come back to here and you'll be able to turn on Concert Hall. Voice changer, you can apply fun effects to your microphone. So if we come in here and we turn it on, you can always use effects so that whenever you use your microphone, it'll make like a weird sound. And you can also test it. So we'll choose a little girl. I'm 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 a little girl. I honestly don't know why you'd want that, but if you wanted to play with your voice, <laughs> in recordings and other times use a microphone then turn that on multi sound select which app can play audio at the same time as other apps this is actually pretty cool so you can select an app below to let it play sound at the same time as other apps so if i wanted to you can do it for all your apps or just choose specific ones you can download more apps so basically i already did it for i think i just did it for youtube so i have it for youtube so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play a youtube video what is going on guys welcome so I have this video playing. I'm gonna go into Spotify. So both of them were playing. You saw that real quick when you have that setting turned on. And that is pretty much everything with Sound Assistant. Hopefully you like that. I do plan on going through the rest of these as well in Good Lock. There's a bunch of them, so stay tuned. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.